Going up. Oh, you haven't seen this one? Yeah, can you do it again? So you're threading the the, the cloth. The cloth. And then you just gotta pull on the string a little bit. What the heck? What is that dark magic? <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. Tomato soup and mushroom tempura. The crispy pork. Absolutely beautiful views. You may want to make your way outdoors and take some great photographs. Thanks so much. Right now, we're just about ready to enter inside. Today's would be the only day that needed glasses. <laughs> I mean, sunglasses. And it's warm enough that I didn't even need my jacket. This is deck 12. We are at the back of the ship, which is where the gym is. You can see another cruise ship also. Going in the same way. Um, this is the gym area. So day six, we're getting closer to Vancouver now. So it's getting hotter and hotter because it was way too cold the previous few days. And everyone's out and enjoying the sun and the pool. Did I say day six earlier? It's day seven. It's the last day. Oh wow. That's how the rock climbing thing works. They lend you shoes, I think. Oh, it's really cool. It's actually finally warm enough to do these activities again. I think if you want to do all of these um, pool activities or rock climbing, you have to do it on the first or the last day usually. It gets too cold in Alaska. Looks fun. Perfect day to do this. So yeah, we're back at the front of the ship now on the 13th floor. And then there's a little bit more. So on this side, we have a little playground for little kids little pool for them as well and this was the basketball court on the other side and that's the very very front of the ship with the uh, mini golf section I think it just goes around all the way there goes around the front. Yeah, the right way. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, it just goes all around. It's pretty cool. Like on the grass, not like right. Oh, that's cool. Right there. ship's tour for you the brilliance of the sea hey guys so i figured i would give you my review of the tour of our bedroom just because we've lived in it for the past six days so i just wanted to give you a review of how i've liked it 
and how we've managed to use the space. So right behind me is the front door, as you can see. So you just come in and to my immediate left, there are two hooks. So we have a couple of our jackets here. And then um, on my right side, we have the cabinets, which are pretty good. I would say the space is well designed because it has well the life jackets on top. And then there's in the middle, there is a row of basically storage. I have my shoes right here. I have a few pairs of shoes here and I have um, um, my cubes with my clothes here. Uh, and I have another one where we kind of share and I just put some of the clothes that I use every day for the excursions. There are some hangers on both sides of it as well, which we share the hangers as well. On the bottom, we have our shoes. So this space is very well designed. I do like the space here. It is small and crammed, but for three people, we managed to use the space quite well. On my immediate left, there is the washroom. And the washroom is quite small, as you can see. There is a step on the bottom. There are hooks on the wall. All of these walls, including the doors, are magnetic. So apparently if you buy your own wall hooks, I guess you can hook more things onto the wall. This, the shower is pretty small as well. I brought my own shampoo. I do highly recommend that you do as well. We do just use their soap here, so for the body. Um, it's pretty narrow inside, but definitely can make do with the space. And all the towels are there. And then the vanity area is um, it's pretty small as well. It looks big on the video, but it's quite small, but it's definitely functional. There's the garbage can and some storage space as well. On this mirror, I put some of my everyday, you know, toothbrush, contact lenses, all that kind of good stuff. And so, yeah, it's a three mirror situation love how bright it is so the washroom is small but super functional just to show you how narrow the hallway is um, because as you can see these are my shoes and yeah it's pretty narrow every time you open one door it takes up the space either on the cabinet side or on the washroom side and then um pretty much that's the rest of our room you can see everything it is a bit messy right now so we share all the drawers and um, all the tables, tabletop spaces, but it is very well designed on each side. There are also a couple of these storages on the mirrors. So all of that is super useful at putting away stuff that you use every day. So my side is right here. I have all my, um, I have all my everyday sort of skincare, medication, we didn't even use the top two. And then we share all of these drawers. They're pretty good. I have the first one right here. So I have my Dyson on this corner, glasses. And then I have this, which is my everyday makeup items. I love this packing cube because I just open it and it gives me access to everything and it fits right through here. So I don't ever have to remove it from the drawer ever. So I have this drawer and then the rest of them share these drawers. Um, there's a quote unquote fridge in there. It's not really a fridge. It's more of a cooler. So it doesn't really make your beverages colder. It just keeps them at a cool temperature. So all of the beverages that we get, we uh, brought our own mugs and everything to keep in there. There is a TV that you can uh, reposition so that it is facing the bed to watch at nighttime. On top here, there is the safe area, which we do use. And there's also more storage space on the top. And then of course there's the bed. This is two twin beds assembled into a king bed. And on each side of it, there are uh, more storages. There is a bunk bed in our room as well, since we are three people sharing this room. 
And then finally, there's the sofa area, which is uh, all of my stepdaughter's items. Um, but yeah, essentially that's the room. And there's plenty of mirrors in this room, which I really appreciate because that makes it so much easier to get ready in the morning. And uh, yeah, as long as you unpack everything, put them in its place once you arrive, organize everything, everyone knows where, which storage they have. Um, you can make do with such a tiny space. It's actually quite well designed, everything. Um, if there's any improvement to this, I would say I would make this hallway a little bit bigger just because every time you open one door, say the washroom door, then it takes up the entire hallway. So if you want to access the cabinets, then you have to close the washroom door and vice versa. Um, which is just a minor inconvenience. It's not the end of the world. Otherwise, I think everything else um, is very well designed. It's quite comfortable given the small space. And this is about 164 square feet according to the documentation that we have. But yeah, tons of light fixtures and uh, everything else is good. Oh, and we do have the ocean view, which has a tiny little round window like this, which, uh, you know, during the cruising time, you can see the sea and all the waves outside. So that's kind of nice as well. The one in the back. Oh, no, that means the solarium bar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You want to take a picture of this and Here's a little cute dessert right here. Okay, I'm going to... show the last show of the cruise 
is it? Last show, right? Sorry, 9 p.m. <laughs> 9 p.m.